nonstop. I don't know how your you don't I don't know how your voice isn't gone. Yeah, nah. It's like you know sometimes you guys sometimes nobody's here. Yeah. You know, like we have commentators now, but sometimes like, we don't always have that luxury. So you gotta like man up and then yeah, one one man show pretty much. Yeah, uh, I mean especially if you're playing, then there's no one else to come and. I think that's what happened yeah. last week, right? In grand finals. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. The, the spooky was a uh, by himself. Was, yep, doing the one man show. Uh, so I think we have Jay Rosa up on stage. Yeah, yeah. Next, yeah. So. We're waiting for Jay Rosa to come and set up. And um, I, I was playing this player in casuals. Uh, he was picking Goro every time I, I looked over and saw who he was playing. Interesting. So, uh, I bet you Jay Rosa doesn't know about Goro. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. I think uh, I think that character is very highly slept on. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Yeah, facts. He has no overhead starter, right? Except just the he has the. Doesn't he get the boot? That's just like one overhead hit, like Luke. I Hane. think. Uh, okay, so this is why I think that's good about him. Cause I don't know the character like that. Okay, that well. okay, okay. Okay, so what I think what I think that's good about him is that his armor rush is safe and it absorbs two hits. You, if you don't have like a six frame jab, you don't want to be in his face, cause like, I think it's like slightly plus. He has initiative in a lot of situations. Okay. Um, he, he has like a lot of tricky, he has a lot of gimmicks with his strings that leads like little overhead setups that like, like full combos and stuff. He, he, he has like a move that disables their wake up. Okay. That blows up their, that blows up their armor, it's like two hitting. It's like a stomp, a double hitting stomp. Oh, yeah. I gotta play, so I'll see you later. Alright, sorry Art. I got it bro. So Arturo Sanchez off to play his match. That's why I started, oh my bad Darth Arma. Oh, yeah, that's this yeah, one, yeah, there we yeah, go, okay. sorry. So sorry, that's actually why I've been learning this game myself, Darth Arma, just so I can talk about it. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that, that's awesome. You definitely don't want to not know what you're talking about. And no, um, you know, that's, that, 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 that you, that's how you really, that, that's how you really get the passion out, is actually knowing about yeah, the game. Yeah, I like that about it. When I understand, I understand the mix-up. Even if I'm not good at the game myself, it's like, okay, I've been hit by that mix-up. I understand how annoying it is to block this thing or to <laughs> deal with this pressure. And when you g can get into the mindset of the players a little more, it makes it much easier. Nice start. Yeah, very great. Out the gate with a Goro walk punch. Yep. So or punch um, walk. Arturo mentioned that Jay Rosa is not like he's to know this matchup. I agree because I definitely do not know this matchup. This is the first time that I've seen a Goro player, period. Um, yeah, I mean, this Gore player knew what he was doing. It was, uh, it was a little difficult to really... Oh, did he just answer the teleport with his, his own, own teleport? teleport? I think so. Armored right through it. And and that unblockable is... is the the tele Gore's teleport in this game is a lot better than uh, Shiva's was in MK9. Okay, cool. That's good to hear. Oh, you got to play? Oh. All right, good luck, Darth Arma. All right. Uh, hello, hello. What's up, Gur? What's going on, man? No, man, not much. I'm excited, you know. A lot of people coming out for MKX, so we have uh, Goro versus Quan Chi. Yep. And Zero Pulse uh, against J Rosa right now. Zero Pulse took the first match. Yep. And the punch walk is very good. Mm -hmm. Definitely gives uh, pressure against Quan Chi, and that's how you uh, win in this matchup. So, how do you feel about uh, this game, MKX, Gur? Uh, I really enjoy it. I definitely was looking this, uh, looking forward to this game since it got announced. Cool. Definitely. So compared to Injustice, which is another game that I know you played competitively for a yes. long time, how would you compare this game to Injustice? Um, I would say, I would say that there is um character va variation. Mm -hmm. I would say that it t when I compare it to the game before you were, you know I was I was a character loyalist. I would just pick Bane. Right. But I feel like in this game I can just pick the same character but play him differently. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because that's actually one of my favorite things about yes. this game as well is that I feel that um, you can pick a character you like and even if you don't like a certain variation of them, you can still find a variation that fits you and be yes. that character. Exactly. Oh, what was that? Yeah, people what getting hype in the background, I think. Meanwhile, J. Punch oh walk. my goodness. J. Rose oh, is trying to close the it. Combo. More punch walk. Very good, good break. Yep. Oh, that, J. Rose takes game one. Mm -hmm. That was the first match. Here we go. Oh, misses the overhead. Or Quan Chi pressure. Now, now Zero Pulse has to guess if he's going low overhead. He went low. Back to the vortex. Another mix up. 50 50. There, oh, wait. Oh, he went for a different mix up, up there. Yeah. yeah. He, he put him on his stun so he can guess. That was pretty good. Very good wake up from Zero Pulse. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend him using the ground pound because uh, Quan Chi benefits from jumping. Right. Because he can shoot his ball, he can punish with his um, sky drop. There's a lot of things he can do. He has a lot more air options and mobility than Goro does. Yes. Good anti-air. 
Very good. Oh, good armor. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really been getting real mix-ups off of it, though. Yeah, he's, he has to just keep the pressure on Quan Chi. You cannot let him zone you out. Once he gets his, the momentum, he gains meter real fast. He has the bat out. At least in this variation, yeah. yes. Oh, man. We go... Oh, oh, nice. Yep. Nice. He controlled the, where he landed. Because when you do that move, you can either go left, right, or neutral. And it ends with brutality. I see. J. Rosa. He took that one pretty free. Uh, yeah. Hyped to see I, a I, I don't, player, think, I don't think he knows the matchup because I, I spoke to him. He, did, he didn't know how to fight Quan Chi. Uh, it, which is, you know, our first time playing Quan Chi, it was definitely challenging. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Who's next? Uh, next up, we'll know in a second. Anyway, that was a good finish for Jay Rosa. Definitely. Brutalities are always are always the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy you got everything on that. Oh, console. yeah, on the console. The so, actually, I found out, though, that actually you don't need to unlock the brutalities in the crypt. It just tells you how to do them or whatever. So, you can have them unlocked, I think, by default. Oh. I could be wrong. I think the first one's unlocked. Oh, but the other ones you yeah, have to get from the crypt. Yeah, the other ones you gotta get from the crypt. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, is that how it works? I see. I just unlocked the whole crypt. I was like, screw it. Let's yeah, just have yeah, everything for fun. It's way better. You get all the costumes. That's if like you don't have time. Cause me, I like to you know play and then go in the crypt. You know, mm -hmm. as like playing the game casually. Right. When I'm not, you know, going to tournaments. I think that's part of the fun in it, though. The story mode is really cool. Yes. Um, Very good story mode. And you get to try, like, a lot of different characters, too, which is yeah, nice. Exactly. Which, also, which is also why I like story mode is that it switches. It makes you learn a new character on the fly. So when you're playing uh, Cassie in this chapter, you mm -hmm. have to learn her moves. You know, what, what are her basic strings, you know? And it's not, you don't have to play them the whole way through. It switches from time to time. To be honest, it helps, man. Like, when I have problems against a certain character online, like, so, for example, the first couple of days I had problems against uh, Kung Jin, the uh -huh. Boku Jin version, right? Yeah. So I went in training mode, like, okay, let me see everything. Oh, this is minus 20. Oh, this is minus 28. Oh, yeah. dive kick is really unsafe. So once you learn that about the character, okay, now whenever he does that stupid spin move, I know I can punish him. Yeah. And it helps. Definitely. Because some, cause some moves, they do look deceiving. Like, you don't know if you yeah, can punish it. Yeah. Unless you actually, you know, take the time and go to training room. Study the character. And study the character, mm -hmm. you know. And I really love what they do with the training room.